A Fairgrove family is stepping up to help victims after their daughter was struck by lightning and killed. KSPR Shana Elzey explains how it happened and how the family is using their daughter's memory as a way to help others. Sheena. Well, Lauren, you're looking at Lindsay Smith on the screen behind me. The 20 year old mother from Fairgrove became the victim of that tragic accident last year. She was struck by lightning on the Gasconade River and died instantly. And even a year later, her parents say they still feel the pain of losing her like it was yesterday. She always smiled. It's her memory that still has Todd and Tracy Smith fighting back tears. You never think it's going to happen to you, but. We were a close family, and I'm glad about that. Their daughter, 20-year-old Lindsay Smith... She wasn't afraid to do anything. ...was canoeing on the Gasconade River last summer when the trip took a tragic turn. She got struck by lightning. She died instantly. It, just, it was overwhelming. So to keep her memory alive, they used what Lindsay loved to do most, riding horses. This was actually her saddle and her boots. To help raise money for who she loved most, her two-year-old daughter, Faith. That's Faith. Through a rodeo fundraiser came an outpouring of support. I mean, the whole community stepped yeah. up to help. The family raised enough money to pay funeral expenses, put baby Faith through school, and with the money left, they started the Lindsay Smith Community Crisis Fund. The rodeo uh, generated right at 15, 000, a little over $15,000, so the fund's going to start with uh, some decent money in it, so hopefully we'll be able to help several people. The Smith family is planning to pay up to $2,000 in bills for families going through the same pain they did, and it'll all be in her memory. Lindsay would have been very happy about this. Now the Smith family says they're also planning more fundraisers to keep the fund going for years to come, but this year they're still looking for more applicants in the area to help. Lauren? Thanks, Sheena. The Smith family is working with the Community Foundation of the Ozarks to help organize the grant. You can find an application for the grant online. We have a link to that on KSPR.com.